Thank you for tuning in to V News today. Here are today's top stories. The 8th UNESCO World Congress opened in the capital city of Hanoi. Vietnam enjoys the first trade surplus over the past two years. Gold price on the domestic market sets a new record again. The six pan Beibu Gulf Economic Forum took place in China. The 8th Congress of the World Federation of UNESCO Clubs, Centers and Associations opens in Hanoi on August 19. This is the first time the event has been held in an Asian country since its establishment congress in Sendai, Japan in 1947. At the Congress, participants reviewed the development process of the non-governmental UNESCO campaign since the first UNESCO club was founded in 1947. Since then, the UNESCO campaign has developed strongly, forming a big family with 3,800 clubs in almost all countries worldwide. Activities of the UNESCO clubs have reached out to the most disadvantaged people and promoted the implementation of human rights, gender equality and sustainable development. The actions have also delivered messages on clemency, solidarity and respect for cultural diversity among youth in the world. During our Speaking at the opening ceremony, Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen Thiet Nhân said the Vietnamese people, as peace lovers, always look to appear human values and are willing to support the targets and action plans of UNESCO. Nhân said the Vietnamese government acknowledged positive contribution of UNESCO, especially in outlining educational development strategy and building policy related to cultural and scientific development, application of information technology, preservation of biosphere reserve, and promotion of values of tangible and non-tangible heritage. Mayor of the Japanese city of Ishoka, Kenichiro Kubota, has expressed his desire to step up agricultural cooperation with localities of Vietnam. While receiving a delegation of the Vietnamese Ministry of Science and Technology, Mayor Kenichiro Kubota shared experience in agricultural development and introduced key products of the city. The mayor also put forward a number of suggestions with a view to helping Vietnam agricultural products to penetrate the Japanese market. On the same day, representative of the Vietnamese Ministry of Science and Technology in Japan held a seminar with entrepreneurs in Ishioka City to study the possibility of transferring farm produce processing and post-harvest preservation techniques to Vietnam. Vietnam saw a trade surplus of 1.1 billion U.S. dollars in July this year, putting an end to trade deficit in two consecutive years. The General Department of Customs reported that Vietnam raked in more than 9.32 billion U.S. dollars from export in July, representing a month-on-month -month rise of 10.2 percent. Meanwhile, the country spent over 8.2 billion U.S. dollars on imports during the month, down 4.6 percent from June. Agricultural products, crude oil, government and electronic equipment posted the highest role in revenues, while 31 out of 48 groups of imports saw a strong drop as compared with the previous month. In total, Vietnam export revenues exceeded 52.5 billion US dollar and import turnover reached 57.92 billion US dollar in its first seven months of this year. Domestic gold price has reached an all-time peak at 47.5 million Vietnamese dong per tail on August 19, a rise of almost 7 million Vietnamese dong per tail from the beginning of this month. At 3.30 p.m., Saigon Jewelry Company's SJC quoted buying and selling prices of 47.05 million Vietnam dong and 47.42 million Vietnam dong per tail up 500,000 Vietnam dong and 520,000 Vietnam dong respectively as compared with those at 12 p.m. The price of SJC gold increased sharply following the world gold price and is almost 1.5 million Vietnam dong more expensive than the previous day. Meanwhile, Bao Tin Ming Chou Jewelry Company listed selling price of its Tang Long Dragon gold at 47.10 million Vietnam dong per tail at 1.30 p.m. The company widened the gap between the buying and selling prices to 800,000 Vietnam dong per tail. Morgan Stanley move to revise downward its forecast for global economic growth from 4.2% to 3.9% was considered the main reason behind the increase of world gold price. 
However, the world gold price is still 500,000 Vietnam dong, lower than the domestic one. Leaders of the northern province of Thái Nguyên have announced that the first International Tea Festival 2011 will take place in the province from November 11 to November 15. The festival will cover a wide range of activities, including a tea cultural festivity, an international seminar on Thái Nguyên tea, an exhibition on the land and people of Vietnam and Thái Nguyên, an international trade and tourism fair, and a beauty contest. 30 traditional craft villages and 35 local tea trading businesses will participate in the event. Representatives from 10 countries and territories that have imported tea products from Vietnam, such as China, India, Russia, Japan, the UK and the US will also attend the event. Organizers expect that the festival will serve as a chance for domestic and foreign businesses to share experience in tea growing, processing and trading, thus developing Taiwan into a key economic area in the northern region. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization and the People's Comedy of Hoi An City have launched a project in a bid to develop Hoi An into the first eco-city of Vietnam. Hoi An City in the central province of Quang Nam boasts ancient quarters recognized as a World Cultural Heritage Site and the World Biosphere Reserve of Ku Lao Cham. The city is making every effort to promote tourism development with the national brand name. However, relations between the economy, society and environment are facing the risk of imbalance. The building of an eco-city is considered as a reasonable strategy to solve the matter of sustainable development of the city. At the seminar to kick off the project, foreign and local experts share experience in building and developing eco-cities, focusing on the mitigation of negative impacts on the environment through initiative on fostering green industry, minimizing glasshouse effects and waste, and reducing risk due to climate change. The pilot model is expected to help the city deal with issues regarding the environment and climate change in key industry, ensure the balance between business and community development, improve income, and provide job opportunities for local residents. Under the project, the Hoi An People's Committee will increase green industrial activities at small and medium-sized enterprises, especially those operating in tourism, handicraft, and relevant fields while stepping up the provision of energy and environmental services based on the international eco-city model. Outcome and experience of the project will be shared with other cities and provinces nationwide. The 6th Pan Bei Bu Gulf Economic Cooperation Forum took place in Nanning, the capital city of the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region of China, on August 18 and 19. The forum brought together almost 400 delegates, including government officials, experts, scholars and business people from China, the ASEAN countries and nations outside the region. With the team Progress of ASEAN, China Free Trade Area and Pan Beibu Gulf Economic Cooperation, the participants discussed measures to enhance the connectivity of regional traffic infrastructure and promote trade, investment, tourism and financial cooperation in the expanded Tonkin Gulf region. Speaking at the event, Deputy Minister of Transport Le Mạnh Hùng affirmed that Vietnam will join efforts with China and other ASEAN countries to implement cooperation initiatives within the expanded Tonkin Gulf Economic Cooperation Framework. Hùng underlined the role played by the two corridors and one economic belt initiative and border economic cooperation areas between Vietnam and China in the expanded Tonkin Gulf Economic Cooperation Framework. The Deputy Minister also called on ASEAN and China to map out concrete action plan in order to facilitate bilateral economic trade ties and performance of ASEAN Connectivity Master Plan. The award for the development of the ASEAN community will be presented to winners at a ceremony to be held in the Lao capital city of Vientiane in late December. The news was released by the magazine Ban Hien Vietnam at a press briefing in Hanoi on August 19. The award is open to business, units and entrepreneurs of the ASEAN member countries, as well as those from Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia, who make great contributions to developing the community and promoting the sustainable development of the economy, culture and society. 
At the ceremony, organizers will also hand over the award outstanding managers in the renewal period and the Golden Cup brand name and trademark. The awards are sponsored by the Ministry of Information and Culture, the Ministry of Industry and Trade Applause, the Vietnamese Ministry of Planning and Investment, the Vietnam Cooperative Alliance, and the Association of Small and Medium-Sized Enterprises of Vietnam. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.